What is a bicycle but an extension of our body? By our own effort, it empowers us and moves us forward. No other form of transportation is a bigger part of our lives anywhere in the world. Bicycles take us places. We use them for exercise. Cycling is something we can do just for the fun of it. It's not always a race. But then sometimes it is. The world rides bikes, which is why a cycling race is the largest and most popular on-site spectator event in the world. In the world of sports, there are men's events and there are women's events. For every major global sports event, there is a women's competition. For every event, that is, except one, the Tour de France. In May of 2014, hundreds of thousands of people came to watch the Friends Life Tour of Britain. It was a powerful statement for women cycling and proof that the time has come for a new race that will test the limits of the greatest female athletes in the sport. The time has come for the Tour of America. I think that the Tour of America is, um, is a really unique platform. I think it's something that's needed in the sport of cycling. I think that it's unique um, because it's moving from region to region. It's going to create um, more opportunity for a larger viewership. The Tour of America will rotate to different regions of the United States each year. The first Tour of America will take place in the highly populated Northeast Corridor of the U.S. As the riders travel from Boston to Washington, D.C., the Tour of America will be viewed in person by more people than any U.S. cycling race in history, men's or women's, in its very first year. It's really exciting to know that there's an opportunity for young athletes that, you know, might be athletic and might need help with an education, that they can actually gain exposure through cycling. And Tour of America can do this in a much bigger way than we're doing already. I think that the Tour of America is really important for the sport of cycling in general, whether it be male or female. Like, I'll never forget those times that um, these leaders in athletics came to my town and how much they inspired me. Sponsors will have an on-site audience of an estimated one million people. More spectators than the World Series and Super Bowl combined will have a chance to see the Tour of America in person. The Tour of America is a perfect counterpart to the Men's Tour de France at this point in time, I feel, because you're getting more and more interest. The women are watching the Men's Tour, the men are watching the Men's Tour, and then they're, they're starting to get more and more interested in the women and realizing that the women are fast and very athletic and very exciting to watch, so I think it'll be a fantastic race. Uh, for us, the Tour of America is a winning concept. Uh, there's no question the time is right. Uh, the best athletes are behind it. The governing bodies support it, uh, both with, here with USA Cycling and the UCI in Switzerland. So we're very excited to be part of it. The Tour of America will be broadcast nationwide with rights to be sold worldwide. It will be carried online via Tour Tracker and accessible to anyone in the world. Women's events don't always need to be secondary or subsidiary to men's events. They can stand on their own uh, and be really successful. But the Tour of America will be so much more than a great cycling event. So today we have women across the world who still aren't able to drive and, or allowed to drive and we have girls who aren't allowed to go to school. And so we hope that the Tour of America, because it's going to be shown live and just across the internet and across the world, we hope that it creates a platform and shows um, women succeeding and how women are celebrated by millions. And this creates aspiration. And aspiration um, can create a movement. And this movement we're talking about is so much larger than any of us. 